120 words per minute for 9 minutes 5 seconds more start this appeal by special leave arises out of the impugned judgment and order passed by the high court of delhi which held that this matter does not fall within its writ jurisdiction brief facts are that the appellant is residing on the second floor of his house in delhi the respondent owners initially started a lab in 1995 on the basement and ground floor of the concerned building and later on expanded the activities to mezzanine and first floors by installing heavy equipments with latest technology the center employed about 50 people and installed 25 air conditioners two diesel generator sets in the setback area of the building and electric panels there was a major parking problem since a large number of patients visited the center every day the appellant made various complaints pertaining to violation of the master plan to the concerned authorities but to no avail hence a writ petition was filed by the appellant before the high court of delhi during the pendency of the writ petition regularization certificate was issued to the respondent owners by the mct under mixed land use for running the lab on the ground floor and first floor of the building aggrieved by this the appellant filed a fresh writ petition before the high court praying for quashing of the regularization certificate wherein the learned single judge issued limited notice to the respondents but has refused to decide the violation under clause 7 on the ground that the petition is motivated by a private dispute mcd confirmed that one time parking charges and conversion charges had been paid by the respondent owners aggrieved by the order passed by learned single judge the appellant filed lpa before the high court for issuance of a writ of prohibition prohibiting the owners of the lab from running the center in the concerned building which was also dismissed by the high court hence this appeal by special leave it is contended by the learned senior counsel for the appellant that the authorities were asked by the appellant to take preventive action against the respondent owners as they have not taken permission from the mcd prior to setting up of the center in the residential area which is admitted by the concerned respondents themselves it is further contended by him that the mcd never sought permission of the high court before issuing regularization certificate to the respondent owners when a writ petition was pending before the high court further it is submitted that the complaint made by the residents of the area about the hardship faced by them were not taken note of by the authorities it is further contended that the area illegally permitted by the mcd confines the activity of respondent owners to the ground floor and the first floor only but the respondent owners have been using much more in excess of the permitted area which is corroborated by the inspection report submitted by the dpcc it is further contended that the appellant is living on the second floor of the building and cracks have occurred therein due to the installation of heavy equipments which is not only dangerous but would also make it impossible 
for the appellant to live peacefully on the other hand the learned senior counsel on behalf of the respondents has alleged that this appeal by the appellant is motivated by personal animus it is further contended that the contentions both in the writ petition and in this appeal do not raise any question of law or of public importance and therefore the same does not call for interference of this court further it is contended that dpcc has given permission to install the aforesaid generators in the building after conducting an inspection and as advised by dpcc the respondent owners have installed stacks above the height of the building but the appellant broke the stacks on several occasions we have heard the learned senior counsel for both the parties it is pertinent to note that during the pendency of this appeal the parties have tried to reach an amicable settlement however the same remained unsuccessful be as that may this nature of litigation cannot be allowed to be settled between the parties as it involves public interest and violation of rule of law the said reasoning of the division bench in the impugned judgment that the proceedings initiated by the appellant are not in the nature of public interest is not acceptable based on the pleadings and documentary evidence produced before us as it is clear that several representations have been made by the affected neighbors of the building with regard to the nuisance created by the lab till date hence the findings by both the learned single judge and the division bench of the high court that it is not public interest litigation are set aside further mcd has ignored the unauthorized use of the concerned building as per the report of the dpcc it is clear that chemical substances emitted from the lab will be obnoxious non compatible polluting and hence are not permissible the usage of generator sets has led to the damage of the building and cracks have been found in the building structure the explanation given by the respondent owners is that the generator sets were installed in the setback area as the appellant has not permitted to install the same on the terrace of the building the objection of the appellant is that he has purchased the said area and the appellant is living on the second floor and therefore if the generator sets are installed on the terrace it would be completely impossible for him to live on the second floor of the premises due to the sound and air pollution caused by the generator sets therefore in view of the relevant provisions of law referred to the facts of the case and the evidence on record we have to hold that the running of the lab by the respondent owners in the concerned building is in violation of law as it creates air and sound pollution rampantly on account of which the public residents health and peace is adversely affected both the mcd and the dpcc abdicated their statutory duties in permitting the owners to carry on with the unlawful activities in view of the reasons recorded by us on the relevant aspects which have emerged from the pleadings we have to reject the factual and legal pleas on behalf of the respondent owners the respondent owners are directed to close down 
down their establishment within four weeks from the date of receipt of the copy of this judgment, failing which MCD is directed to take necessary steps for sealing the premises and submit the compliance report for the perusal of this court. The case is disposed of accordingly.